He's going to come up throwing. Fires sideline and Hura. Empty backfield on third and four for Darren Thomas. Looks to the left, comes back to the middle, and he's got it complete for a touchdown on a run last week. A good patience by Thomas. He looked left first, didn't like what he saw. For a touchdown on a run last week. A good patience by Thomas. He looked left first, didn't like what he saw on that side of the route, and was able to come back to a secondary receiver. Huff for the first down. So the Ducks at the 45 with their initial first down of the ball game. Thomas fires high and it's incomplete. Little yeah. Carroll's with the football early in this one. Darren Thomas slip screen to Jeff Mail. Mail brought down as he got near mid all time on the receiving touchdowns in Eugene. James going way wide, but he can't get to the first stretch it out. That was a nice play by the Oregon State defense. Now Chip Kelly is known to go for a lot of fourth down. James in the backfield with Thomas, but it be Thomas to throw and he's got Jeff Mayo inside the five and whoa wicked tackle out there by Lance Mitchell but no face mask and no horse now Mayo's isolated single coverage and Thomas knows where to go with the football that's a pretty big push the time first and goal Thomas play fake wants the touchdown on the throwback to the corner and he's got it to Barner answer didn't they in two minutes and 43 seconds bad snap the kick is blocked and Oregon State trying to scramble for it. The snap was bad, and now Oregon State trying to go the other way with a lateral. And out of bounds. Then on both sides in both uniforms. Thomas again flushed out of the pocket. Throwing on the run and incomplete. Josh Hutton changed situation for the Beavers. The pass rush, both ends really collapsed the pocket. It was Gabe Miller and Dominic Glover. <laughs> That's when they do their most damage. Exactly, and especially in the fourth quarter. LaMichael James broke a tackle, broke another, and it's first and goal. Take your pardon, that's Barner, not James. And Stephen Pia, number 54, has got a shot at him. He gets into the backfield, but he can't get enough of the journey. Here and new guys. Second down, six. LaMichael James back in there, gets the call, and he gets the first down. Got to the 20. In the ball game. Aaron Thomas. Who's got pressure, lofts it dangerously, intended in the game a year ago, and he almost came away with one here. You don't see Darren Thomas float a ball into traffic like this very often. Play clock at two. Thomas on fourth down, screen middle, Barner nowhere to hide. To join him, though. And it's option, and it's James, and he lost the ball, but he regained it, and he's coming back the other way. Got a block. Got his quarterback in front of him. Well, Michael James makes something out of nothing. He caught by him. Well, not the way you draw it up, but uh, when you have speed like Michael James, you can turn a disaster. There's another big third down. Blitz coming on Thomas. Trying to throw back screen to Davis. Davis got the first down. He's gone. Touchdown, Oregon. Kelly and Mark Helfrich, they anticipated blitz again. It came, it wasn't a great throw. Davis had to go up in the air and catch it, but then just support. The big defensive play here. They'll play it safe. Another penalty flag. If this is on Oregon, I would imagine Oregon. Only a loose team, but you could just sense they were thinking about 15 minutes left before the national championship. And Michael James stops. Fromm is a guy that got some good pressure on him on the last series. Thomas zips it down the sideline. Dangerous throw, but we're going to have a flag. Yeah. Michael Dunn. ready to go to Glendale. They get closer by every snap. Third and five. Thomas pumps once, then throws. Ball is out, incomplete. Michael James empties the duck backfield. Thomas pump fakes. Comes back to Jeff Mayo. Mayo inside the 20. 